gonna take his face. And his little ears are pretty, pretty delicate. Mm -hmm. in here. So his chest muscles are stuck onto his neck. Okay. Right, and here's the rest of that bullet wound. This is a big one. But he was just a little squirrel, so. Got a little squirrel on a 22 shell. Yep. Just going to remind everybody that this little guy was not killed for this project. He's been in my freezer for four years. My sister has a hatred of squirrels, and she shoots every single one she sees. So I told her, instead of just letting them rot in the garden, to bring me the bodies. Because it shouldn't go to waste. It's like these poor little creatures have died a senseless death. They might as well have some sort of immortality. Some sort of honor. I'm a ginger and I stole a soul. You stole a soul, huh? His soul is happily climbing trees in the summer land. Mm -hmm. He's a happy little squirrel. Here he was. So here's the part to pay close attention to. We're starting to come up into his ears. Mm -hmm. And you can see where it's black here. That's his ears starting to fold out. So mm -hmm. I put one finger on his nose mm -hmm. and I pinch the rest quite firmly with my fingers. And then I pull out and that white starts to show up there and just barely touch it. Because we want to get the whole ear. Yes. So I'm resting my little finger in his shoulder mm -hmm. and kind of pulling backwards. Mm -hmm. And that little tear is normal. That's just because that goes into here. And he's going to open. See how that's nice and round? That's the shape of the inside of his little ear. I'm going to do the other side just so we can have a nice clean even break for the nose. Ear is pretty, it's just cartilage. See, and there's little tiny holes that go under his little skull. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so he got his little ears off. Mm -hmm.
start coming up to his eyes. You see where they're black? Mm -hmm. And just the same thing, you take and you pinch firmly. And you see how that lifts up from his eye? Mm -hmm. You want to take the skin and the eyelids without cutting the eye. <laughs> yes, you wouldn't so, want to cut the eyes yeah. out. So if you just grasp them between the little pinky finger and ring finger and slice. And you see how he comes out like that? See, there's a little hole. And there's his eye. Mm -hmm. You know a lot of details about this. Well, when you're doing it, you got to think of every s little structure of the body. Mm -hmm. Now this is only the second squirrel that I've skinned. But I've done bears and coyotes, larger animals. And it's just, the si you just scale it down for the smaller individual. A lot of trial and error. So now that we have his eyes done, everything's going to get a lot um, thinner. The skin on the end of the nose is a lot thinner than on the rest of the body. It's almost like on the feet because it's so close to the bone. You have to be a little bit more careful when pulling on that. Which is where the paper towel comes in because it, it really it soaks up all that sliminess. that way. Yeah. That that's the key. It's like you see the pink and when you pull you see the white and you just barely touch the white and it starts to come out. So we're coming close to the lip. Just always touch the light and it'll start to mm -hmm. see it goes from white to pink as soon as you it's touched. That's how you know that it's removed. Now this white here, you see it, it kind of looks different. It doesn't look like there's anything going to it. Where it's just really floppy, that's the end of his snout. And you want to be careful not to sever that too much. Just kind of pull as far as you can up like that. And then, can you see that there? Mm hmm. Try and cut it on this end. Yeah, cut it on the bone end because you can feel it there. Mm -hmm. So, when doing that, you're cutting through the cartilage. And you see the little nostril holes there. Mm hmm. I don't know if that's going to focus. You can see his little teeny nostril holes and it comes down off the nose. So we're pretty much at the, the tip between his teeth, where the gums are. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's hanging by his gums, <laughs> literally. Open. Squirrel. <clears throat> there you go. 
So he is now, his little body is now done. So he's dried out a little bit. So we can do a little bit of that flesh work. You see, when we stretch him out, he's got all these white parts on him. Mm -hmm. We gotta scrape that off because the fat will rot. So I'm just gonna make him a couple plugs for his bullet wounds. You can see, went right in there, it just blew this all out. It's just a mm -hmm. little guy. Well, 22 is a bit much for a squirrel. The reason I'm plugging this is that it, he won't leak as much in the bag. I might have made my plug a bit big there. There we go, buddy. Yeah, he's fine okay there, so I don't have to plug that too bad. That's the entry. You can always tell the entry point because it's a lot cleaner than the exit. Mm -hmm. So, this is what a little squirrel looks like without his clothes on. It's a cute little guy. So now we're going to look at him and make his mannequin based on his size. That's another reason why you want to plug the holes, because you're going to be looking at him and deciding how your, your mannequin is going to be. So I'm just going to put his skin in the water, and that'll keep him hydrated while we... I'm done.